Today we have an even more legendary video than Trump working at McDonald's. He's even more blue collar. We have Trump speaks to reporters from a garbage truck. <laughs> I thought this was fake. I didn't actually know that he did this, but a little bit of background to this story, guys. Joe Biden basically said on his campaign trail with Kamala Harris that Trump supporters, the people that support Trump are garbage and they're trash people and they're, you know, he used that exact language like they're garbage, they're, they're not good people, right? Which is unbelievable because half of America voted for Trump. I mean, it's pretty much a 50-50 split most of the time. So insulting half of America, not really a good way to go around it. We also had that video of Joe Biden with a Trump MAGA hat on, very strange, but this one hopefully should be hilarious. I obviously watched the Trump working in McDonald's video. Go back and check that out as well, guys. That was a legendary video, guys. Drop a comment down below and obviously subscribe, guys. We got the 100K. We're on to a million right now. You know, when you think about Donald Trump and fighting with Joe Biden and these kind of arguments that they get in, you know, Trump seems to always come out on top, guys. Let's just call a spade a spade. He was working in McDonald's, now he's in a dump truck, a garbage truck. He's very relatable to the average person. You know, the average people are the people who vote in America. It's not the elites that vote, it's the average person. So you have to be able to relate to the average person. Trump is very good at relating to the average person, even though he is a multi-billionaire, so. Actually, Back to some breaking news here. We want to take you to North Carolina where you can clearly see there Donald Trump is taking questions from reporters inside a truck. Uh, well, let's go ahead and listen in. I don't think they'll have to be used. I think we're going to have a big victory. And I think 250 million people in this country are going to be very happy because we're going to bring the country back. We're a nation in decline. Very, very serious decline. And I do agree with that, guys. Yeah, America seemed like amazing in the 80s and 90s. It still is, you know, obviously a superpower, the richest country in the world. But they do seem to be in decline, you know, along with Europe, where I live in, in Ireland, of course. But guys, we're trying to you know, make these countries like they were in the 80s and 90s good like that, you know, uh, less, less, you know, of this crazy stuff, right? We're going to bring our country back. Did you know that Elon Musk was in close contact with President Bush? Did you know about this? Did you know about Elon Musk at all? No, I don't know. Elon, Elon is a great guy. He's one of our geniuses and we have to protect our geniuses. We have to take care of our geniuses. I agree. Elon Musk is a legend. Elon Musk is a good guy. He's against censorship, guys. You know, Twitter X I use all the time. There aren't too many of them. Yes, please. No, I love Puerto Rico, and Puerto Rico loves me. I don't know. I don't know anything about a comedian. I just, I love Puerto Rico. Nobody's done more for Puerto Rico than me. I, I Tony Tony Hinchcliffe basically called Puerto Rico like this, you know, this basically island of trash in the middle of the, you know, in the, in the middle of, of of the Latin countries. It's kind of it hovers around Cuba, you know. Puerto Rico is around that area, you know, um, these different areas, which they are run down. They are third world countries. It's beside Haiti, but they're not, they're not trashed countries, guys. Puerto Rico especially is a beautiful country, but Tony Hinchcliffe is not a good comedian to bring on the campaign trail. I don't know why he had him on. He should have had someone, you know, that speaks better. Dana White, you know, um, they had <laughs> the man himself, Hulk Hogan, you know, the people like that guys that can speak well and get the crowd fired up. Tony Hinchcliffe is just kind of, he's a bit of a nerd, man. He's funny and stuff, but like, Tony Hinchcliffe, really? Like, bro, you could have got anybody. You could have got anybody in America. Like, this is ridiculous. I took care of them when they had the big hurricanes, and nobody, nobody gets along better with Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rican people, people than me. They love me, and I love them. What do I want? I don't know anything about the comedian. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. Uh, I heard he made a statement, but it was just a statement that he made. He's a comedian. What can I tell you? I know nothing about him. I don't. That's true. I don't know anything about Tony Hinchcliffe. I just see him with Joe Rogan. I've never watched uh, Kill Tony. Some of his stuff seems funny with Shane Gillis dressing up as Trump, but that's more Shane Gillis's kind of f funny side. Tony Hinchcliffe is just—he's just a comedian. So I wouldn't—I would take everything that a comedian says with a pinch of salt, guys. You know, it's not very you know, world breaking, you know what I mean? It's very, you know, to the to the point of Donald Trump. Like, he doesn't really care. It's not really a big deal for him, right? I don't know why he's there. You put comedians up, and uh, I guess he went on earlier in the show. I don't know who he is. Did you campaign with you? Is he a campaign with you now that he's 
I don't know, but I think he's a terrific guy. I think he was treated very unfairly. Mr. President, you've been talking about Democrats cheating. Um, could you imagine any circumstances under which you would, would be defeated but not say that the election was stolen? If it was, uh, if it was a corrupt election, that could happen. But so far, we're doing pretty well. We, uh, they found a lot of smaller things in Pennsylvania, as you know, and I think they've been... Yeah, it said in Pennsylvania that, that you couldn't vote for him or something like that and something like that. But that is mainly the machine. You know, it's not that... <laughs> it's not that they intentionally made it so the machine would break down. It's just that that's how touch screens work sometimes on machines. You know, there's thousands of people coming to press these machines. I don't think there's any interference there personally. It's a bit, you know, that's a bit crazy. Corrupted and, uh, and taken care of. They were, they were corrupt. They were corrupted, and, uh, but I think it's been taken care of. Well, not, you, you, called, you, called for, you called for law enforcement to investigate. I was going to say, um, do you anticipate to declare victory on election night? I hope that we're going to declare a victory. I mean, they spend all that money on machines. Paper ballots cost you 8%. Of what a machine costs, 8%. Paper ballots, we have paper ballots in Ireland, guys. We don't actually use these old machines like in the US and stuff. We have that old school pen and paper, baby. Or, yeah, pen and paper. You know, pencil you can you can erase out, but we use pen and paper. I don't know why in, in you know, the richest country in the world you guys use, you know, election machines. I guess there's just so many people. If you had to count them, it would take way longer, but... And uh, it's encrypted paper, it's watermark paper, it's very secure. Uh, your elections would be over at 10 o'clock and that's when the, you could announce something and there would be no question. And we're not talking about more money, we're talking about a tiny fraction of the money. Uh, you want paper, ideally, you want one day voting. And I think it's just very important, you have to have the country and you have to have voter ID and you, and you have a great election. And you're talking about 8% of the cost. Uh, it's like very sad when you get machines, you pay all that money, and they talk about three days later. I think we're going to have a big enough victory to uh, maybe have it that night. You should always have it, be a, you know, every night. If you look at France, 38 million votes. At 10 o'clock in the evening, it was over. Yeah, it's true. In Europe, we have it pretty good, guys. We, we cast the ballot, and then... The votes come in and it's good to go. It's ver done very quickly. Don't know why it takes so long in the U.S. I mean, the U.S. is a massive country, to be fair. So all paper ballots, all voter ID, one day voting, and it was over. How do you like my garbage truck? This <laughs> truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, bro, this is gonna be a troll. This is unbelievable, guys. Get your gains, man. Get your gains. Stay hydrated, bro. Stay hydrated. We're getting good here. Uh, you ask for law enforcement to investigate in Pennsylvania. If they find no evidence of cheating, will you accept the result if you lose? Well, I guess they had uh, quite a few ballots, 2,600 ballots, where the same person was signing. Right. But if they find no evidence of cheating, will you accept the results? Of Pennsylvania, sure. Oh, if they find no evidence of cheating anywhere on the results, I hope that's going to be the case. Win, lose, or draw, I hope that's going to be the case. Now well, listen, I have to do something because Brett Favre is a great guy. He just endorsed me, and he's very important at this moment. I mean, you know, he's got uh, he's got a little problem for himself, and I thought it was yeah. He, Brett Favre is not a good guy. He actually embezzled money from kids, like a uh, really bad guy, actually. And then he said in court, really scumbag kind of guy. And then he said in court, oh, um, you know, I have now this sort of. Mo uh, you know, neuromuscular degenerative disorder, so you can't sue me. But they're like, okay, I suppose so. But he's a real scumbag. He stole like millions off kids and stuff to build his own sort of thing for his own kids. And ah, Brett Favre was not a good guy, bro. It was very brave that he came out, and I want to go over and see Brett Favre. We're all going together, I assume. You're going over. I'm going to make a speech. We're going to then try and beat the weather out because we have some bad weather. Coming all right, so here. you are listening to Donald Trump, who is in Green Bay, Wisconsin, inside a truck. He called it a garbage truck. Uh, he went on to say that this is my garbage truck in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden as he takes... It's a great garbage truck. It's the best garbage truck. <laughs> uh, reporter's questions there. He went on to say that he 
he loves Puerto Rico. He actually said that I took care of them in the wake of Hurricane Maria. Uh, as many of you know, he was his administration was heavily criticized for withholding uh, funding to Puerto Rico in the immediate aftermath of that hurricane. Uh, he went on to say he doesn't know the comedian that made the crude jokes at Madison Square Garden. Uh, he feels that Steve Bannon was treated unfairly, and he again brought up the voting issues there in Pennsylvania. While the uh, authorities there tell us there have been some isolated issues that have emerged, but they're pushing back on any uh, suggestion that deliberate efforts are underway to suppress the vote there in Pennsylvania. So you just saw Donald Trump there leaving again in what he called his garbage truck in honor of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So That's hilarious. Green Bay, Wisconsin. I don't even know where that is, guys. But yeah, absolutely legendary, man. You know, can really relate to the people. A few things that I, don't, that I definitely don't agree with. Like, one for one, guys, Brett Favre is like literally a scumbag, guys. He like steals money from kids and stuff. He's the worst person ever. Number two, it's weird how he doesn't know who Kill Tony is, uh, Tony Hinchliffe, like how he was on his show. Maybe somebody else signed off on that. You know, obviously he has a lot to do. He's on a campaign trail. But yeah, a few things that are obviously, you know, pretty lie lying there. But top comment here, we got Trump driving. <laughs> we got Trump driving a garbage truck before GTA 6. That's funny. ABC, it's not a truck. It's a garbage truck. Get your facts straight. Trump is a master troll. Yeah, I mean, whoever's on his team, guys, incredibly smart, incredibly, t you know, talented to be able to think of that. Like, it's a, just an amazing troll, guys. Like, to be able to say, okay, look now, they called us trash, garbage, so we're going to have a garbage truck. I mean, it's just legendary, guys. I love you all. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe for games. Let me know your thoughts. Stay away from them thoughts. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.